What's up guys and welcome back to my channel What's up guys and welcome back to my channel Guys today's video uh, I'm at the Kariba Dam war between Zambia and Zimbabwe Look guys this is where I am This is where the power that generates electricity comes from. So, if you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's go back from the beginning. So, I came here to see Avonga, the most sought after uh, holiday destination here in Zambia. So. So instead of just coming for holiday, I decided to show you the Lake Kariba Hydro Power Station. This place generates most of the electricity. So from my hotel room, I booked a taxi to take me to the border because here in Siavonga is also among the other borders we share with Zimbabwe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kariba border post between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Today, guys, I'm going to the bridge between Zambia and Zimbabwe. I have never been here before. That's why I decided to walk to the bridge. I have never been here before and this is where so where i'm taking you is where the electricity we use in zambia is generated from yes it's the most popular power station we have here in zambia that's the video for today yes so what i'm doing today guys is showing you where the electricity we use is generated from at the border between zambia and zimbabwe yes if you are new on my channel subscribe turn on bell notification give this video a thumbs up so you just reach the border like you are crossing you present your id and you are allowed to proceed to the bridge let's go it's the dry season or oh, the summer time here in zambia as you can see the vegetation is not green now this road here is where trucks yes these dump big mining dump trucks uh, pass through cutting rubble from the bottom where we are going because there is rehabilitation going on it's also an upgrade and maintenance <music> Before I tell you about the Lake Kariba, uh, I just want to show you that this is the Zambian side. There is also the Zimbabwean side. So when you get to the bridge, I will tell you more. I will tell you all the details you need to know. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lake Kariba Hydro Power Station. Mm-hmm. Take a look. That's the place, guys. This is the place. Let's talk. We need to talk some history here. So this is the Lake Kariba Dam Wall, which was constructed in the year 1958. So this bridge was designed by a Frenchman but contracted. The contractor were the Italians who did the massive construction of this dam. It happens to be the world's largest artificial uh, lake in the world. So this place generates power which is shared 
between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Take a look at some zooming going on to show you some works, men at work. I can see a water dispenser there among the things. So take a look, I was very, very far, but I decided to just come. Take a look, there's also another speedboat for the same men at work here doing some major rehabilitation since 1958. <laughs> Guys, this place is so scary. Working as an engineer is no easy job, guys. It's very, very scary. Even just walking here, you know, you have to endure heights. I don't believe it, guys. It's so scary. This is the Kariba Lake Kariba Hydropower Station here in Siavonga. Wow, very scary place, guys. I must confess, that's where I am, here in Siavonga. Take a look, guys. It's a beautiful but very scary place. Very, very scary place, guys. You can be scared if you are, if you fear heights. Look, so the dam is like under construction. Look what this heavy machinery. Mining machinery. Take a look at this one. very scary so this project is shared so this electricity generation shared between Zambia and Zimbabwe and then it is operated or run by the Zambezi River Authority so we have been enjoying electricity for years from here both Zambia and Zimbabwe this is our asset guys and all this you can see so from the year 1958 it didn't have any major maintenance until right now it has had smaller little maintenance here but this time around there is a bigger one which is taking place and then the water has like been diverted for now so there isn't much but after this we are expecting to even have more electricity which is expected to increase uh, to increase the supply of electricity on both countries so this is arguably the largest dam wall and water reservoir in the whole world Yes, guys, so the Zambezi River has given us many things. So you can see uh, we have the Zambezi River has given us the Victoria Falls, which is the world's largest waterfall in the world. And now we have the largest artificial or man-made lake in the world, even the dam wall as well. Yes, these are some of the facts we have here in Zambia. So that's why I came to Siavonga just to show you this. From here, guys, there are more places I intend to go apart from this beautiful dam wall, uh, which has like been partially closed. Take a look at the zooming of the men at work. So you expect more videos, guys. Uh, as the task, I'm editing this video, presenting it to you. I just returned from the northern circuit where I showed three waterfalls. Yes, guys, so that you don't just think about the Victoria Falls. Yes, there are other waterfalls in the northern circuit, particularly Kasama where I went. I'll be showing you all the waterfalls. I'll show you the Kasama town. This is why I always say, if you are new on my channel, guys, support me, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up, and any other video, share me out if you can. My name is Travotainment. All I do is showcase to you uh, beautiful places which uh, the world might have never 
uh, explained, but I go, I travel places. That's why I'm called travelotainment to show you very many beautiful places. So I'm back, guys, for more videos. From here, I'll take you to Petawuke to show you some culture, especially the Kutilansembe traditional ceremony in Petawuke, where uh, for the Nsenga speaking people, from there, I'll take you to the Northern Circuit. From there, I'll take you to Sioma in Northern Province to show you, in, in Western Province, sorry, to show you the Sioma Ngwezi. Uh, waterfall, Sio Mangwezi, National Park, and more stuff coming. Before the end of summer, I'll take you to the Maldives of Zambia, which we call, which is Zambia Beach, and many more places coming up right on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please, don't forget to subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Adios!